The PC has a stacked lineup of games this fall from big exclusives, formerly Xbox One titles, and a host of multi-platform games. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the top 10 PC games coming in fall 2016. Let's get right into this. Number 10, Shadow Warrior 2. Shadow Warrior 2 is the sequel to Shadow Warrior, which was one of the most off-the-wall action games you'll play. It had some great fast-paced gameplay, pretty good level design, sure the writing and the story won't keep you all engaged, but overall it was a very enjoyable action game. Shadow Warrior 2 offers what the first game did but even more. Now there's a co-op mode allowing up to four players to go through the game, and the arsenal of weapons and equipment is expected to be much larger. Shadow Warrior 2 is expected to release in October. Mess with the ball, you get the way. Number 9, Gears of War 4. Gears of War has always been a series linked to Xbox. Yeah, the first Gears of War game came to PC and there was that Ultimate Edition, but for the most part, the series has been an Xbox franchise. However, with Microsoft's recent push towards PC gaming, Gears of War 4 will not only be coming to Xbox One, but PC as well day and day. This latest entry into the franchise will be a bit of a change of pace. The game is now being developed by the Coalition instead of Epic Games and features a design shift from Gears 3. And with the game having crossplay between Xbox One and PC, that's great to know considering Gears of War Ultimate Edition had a really hard time maintaining a player base on PC. Gears of War 4 releases on October 11th. They get upgraded. Can we downgrade it? Frag out! Hey! Hey, try flanking them! Die. Destroy. You guys are smarter. You're not smarter than us? What are you saying? Not than us, than before. Oh. Yeah. One down. Drag out! Next. Okay, that's all of them. Number 8, Dishonored 2. Dishonored was one of the more surprisingly good games of last generation. It had a great world, a decent amount of explorability, and the game really put the power in the player's hand in terms of how they wanted to tackle various situations. You could take the silent approach and avoid enemies, or you could just run and gun your way through, and how you played influenced the world of the game. Dishonored 2 is expected to retain this element, but to a larger degree. There will be much more upgrades available to allow you to really shape the character and how you want them to be. And this time, you have the option to play as one of two different characters, either Corvo Atano, the protagonist of the first game, or Emily Caldwin, who was just a child in the first game. Dishonored 2 releases on November 11th. Orders from the Duke. <laughs> We're losing too many people. Good soldiers blinded by that hallucinogenic powder the Howlers use, then stabbed to death or dragged down by the Abbey's hounds. One young lieutenant got hit by an overseer grenade, and that was it. She was one of the Duke's sister cousins or something. Shit. Let's hope they do enough damage to each other so the fight goes out of them. That won't happen until someone manages to kill either Paulo or Vice Overseer. We've made much greater use of vertical space for Dishonored 2, encouraging players to explore the rooftops above the streets. Dust out of my ears. Number 7, Forza Horizon 3. Another series that in the past was very much linked to Xbox was Forza, but this fall, Forza Horizon 3 will also be coming to PC. Forza Horizon is the sub-series of Forza. The main entries dubbed Forza Motorsport are more traditional racing sims, while Forza Horizon are set in open worlds and do cater to more casual racing game fans. Regardless, Forza Horizon has been a fantastic franchise, and Forza Horizon 3 is set in an open world based in Australia, and the map is expected to be twice the size of the previous game, meaning you'll have a huge world to explore. And while PC gamers already have a wealth of racing games to pick from, Forza is one to get excited about. We just hope it's a good port and sees a Steam release at some point. It comes September 27th. With a single button press, Andy can join Bill's se session instantly 
and seamlessly, like all of Horizon's online modes. Join in co-op is just that easy. And now that they're all together, the race is on. Experience the laid-back fun of Horizon with your friends. Whether you're pulling off amazing stunts, racking up skill points, or exploring the world. Between Xbox Live, crossplay, and instant co-op, this is the most social Forza ever. Number 6, Dreadnought. Dreadnought is a game that has been in development for a while now. The game is actually being made by Jaeger Development, probably not the most well-known studio in the world, but those are the guys that actually worked on Spec Ops The Line. Dreadnought is obviously a much different game being a multiplayer combat flight simulator. The game is running on the Unreal Engine 4 and graphically is one of the better looking games you'll come across. The gameplay we've seen thus far looks very promising and it seems to have a lot of variety too. Dreadnought doesn't have a set release date, but it is expected before the year's out. As a sniper, the ship is big gun strapped onto a quick engine with almost no heavy armor, making it one of the most vulnerable flyers in the fleet. It's to make deadly, surgical, hit-and-run strikes and wreak havoc on the enemy. Corvettes are scouts, running recon and delivering quick strikes. High speed and the warp jump ability make them perfect for hunting down pesky artillery cruisers. But Corvettes may fall prey to the massive firepower of the destroyer if they aren't hunter. At range, destroyers should stay clear of the artillery cruiser's line of sight. A direct hit can prove devastating. In close quarter battles, destroyers are tough enough to handle their share of fire. Their role is to dart in and cut up the support craft, like the tactical cruiser, leaving larger, more dangerous ships without... Number 5, Escape from Tarkov. Escape from Tarkov is a mosh pit of games. It's a first-person survival game set in a persistent MMO universe with a focus on its narrative. Yeah, usually games like this don't have a big emphasis on its story, but that's not the case with Escape from Tarkov. You play as a survivor in the city of Tarkov, it is up to you to find Find a way out of the hazardous conditions of the city. And to do so, you'll have to cooperate with other players and find equipment to help you progress. But you'll have to take care of yourself as well, whether it be from hostiles or just healing from injured body parts or illnesses. Escape from Tarkov is one of the PC's most anticipated upcoming exclusives. It's expected to come this year. Number 4, Mafia 3. Mafia 3 is one of those games that is being a lot more hyped up than I thought it would be. Don't get me wrong, Mafia 2 was a great game, but it was never this major blockbuster that people are seemingly making Mafia 3 out to be. Why is there an added level of excitement for this game? Possibly because the game is going the open world route over Mafia 2's linear design. Mafia 3 also does seem a bit more big budget and action-y than Mafia 2. Hopefully the game retains the gritty nature that made Mafia 2 so good. Keep in mind that Mafia 3 is also the debut title for development studio Hangar 13. So you know they'll want to do a good job. The game releases on October 7th. When are you going to let us off this goddamn boat? But my crew is looking into it. If you can just stay right here in the casino, I have updates for you shortly. Thank you. The crew will provide instructions on how to make an orderly. <laughs> Get out of here! 
Number 3, Civilization 6. When you look at PC gaming's most popular series, Civilization has to be one of the top ones. Civilization 5 was one of the most popular games on Steam ever, and now we have Civ 6. This entry won't stray too far from what made Civ 5 so great, but it will build upon it. Many new elements were refined and introduced to improve the overall quality of Civ. The map is expected to be more easier to follow, and balancing is one area Firaxis is focusing on. If you've been a fan of Civilization, Civ 6 is probably already on your radar. And if you've never played Civ, definitely give it a shot. During the Steam sales, you can pick the games up for a bargain. Still, we are not without our own forces. The days of spear and arrow are long since behind us. It is time we show this invader our true might. done. But this enemy cannot be left to lick its wounds and fight again. Our onslaught must be absolute. Number 2, Battlefield 1. Battlefield has always been one of the PC's most prominent franchises. Going back to the early games all the way to Battlefield 3, the anticipation leading up to every Battlefield game was huge. Gamers were excited for Battlefield 4, but with that game and more so Battlefield Hardline, it seems as if the series was losing a bit of its luster. But EA and DICE picked up on that, as Battlefield 1 will be a pretty big shift from previous games now taking place in World War 1, featuring weaponry and vehicles of what would be present at that time. Playing the beta, you could still tell it's Battlefield, the core of the game is intact, but it's a fresh coat of paint that the series really needed. The game releases on October 21st. Out of the frying pan into the fire, I believe is a, is I think a phrase. That's a, that's a that. very good analogy. Yeah, Fantastic. I, I'd really enjoy it if the flamethrower dude was on the other side, then the analogy would have been perfect. <laughs> Not quite the case. Hopefully someone can just live that dream for me, but there's some incredible team, like their early game strats are coming through. Yep. No, but they are actually playing better as a collective to get those opening rounds down. They isolated the British Empire pretty far out. Now the tides are turning a little bit. It's still pretty close here. However, the train's going to come out soon to play. That's still a factor here. That's in the back pocket. Ten minutes to go. We're looking at a 20-point gap. We've got some really good players out there on the battlefield. But as we've seen all the time in these last two games, the British Empire have a knack for coming back right at the last minute. Now, if they're going to try and perform a similar tactic here, Perhaps it's more advisable that they try and go for the win just a little bit earlier. Maybe they look at that clock yep. a minute before they did last time and go, oh, we haven't got much time. We better make sure we take some of those points. Good view of the, uh, the mechanic, uh, mechanic, mechanic, the engineer mechanic. Look at this uh, lockout. And finally, number one, Tyranny. Tyranny is the latest PC RPG from Obsidian Entertainment who did the fantastic Pillars of Eternity. Tyranny will follow a similar gameplay design to Pillars of Eternity, but the premise of Tyranny is very interesting. The game takes place in a high fantasy world where an overlord has already taken over the land by force. The player takes the role of a fate binder who is one of the higher ranked soldiers under the overlord. Prior to the beginning of the game, you'll make many decisions that shape how the world and NPCs react to you. And depending on the different decisions you make throughout the game, it'll have a lot of impact on the world of tyranny. Obsidian has shown they can make great RPGs. Expect tyranny to be another one. We still don't have an exact release date, but the game is expected to come before 2016 is over. To judge the accused and strike down those foolish enough to resist. As the final conquest draws near, you can institute the law from above or use the banner to institute your own. So that wraps up our countdown of the top 10 most anticipated PC games of fall 2016. What do you think? Which PC games are you the most excited for this fall? Comment your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.